And of course I missed it because I'm new to this obviously, but 80 fishing. We have one more level to go and then 205k. Great. One more level to go and then we get to open up all these permits. Let's go. For this, this might be my highest point game I ever get as long as I don't mess up because I didn't douse all the fires and I just kind of controlled them. It's kind of like a controlled burn, you know? I just controlled them, kept them out of my way, but let them spread as much as possible. So, already at 7,700. I haven't even got to the other side of the island yet. We'll see how many points this ends up getting me. This will definitely be a new record, considering I'm doing this method. And not bad. Overall, that is by far my highest point game. I think my previous personal best was, I think, 10,400. 10, and now we just hit pretty much a 12K, 15 total permits. So it is possible if you kind of control the fires a little bit, but still let them spread, that you can get more points than what I was getting every game. But it's kind of difficult because it matters on how the fire spreads and like, you know, obviously, like, your efficiency with how you're doing your run currently and everything. But overall, my clicks are insanely bad. But overall, you can get some pretty high permit games even doing this little fire method I've been doing this whole time with some controlled burns, like I was saying. So, on the way, 15%. No, I just wanted more points, dude, please. Oh, uh, we're at 93. No, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Eh. Eh. Please. No. Put him in. Please. One, two, go. How many fires can I put out? 11,100, bro. All right, please. Please. How much can we do? Oh, it's not enough. Fuck it. We're going for it. Dang it, dude. I was trying to break my PB. Oh, dang it. No. It's good points, though. It's like, might be 15. We broke 12, though. And there is 81 fishing. You can now catch manta rays. All right, so this will be the last game, and we're going to go open up all these rewards, and that should be pretty fun. Okay, so I went to an empty world after all that was done. We ended up with 81 fishing, total of 950,000 gained XP. I started tracking from, I'm not sure if it's exactly when I started or a little bit after, but that XP right there from 1.24 mil is level 74. So I started tracking from at least level 74 here. Seven total levels. Um, my XP per hour, if I show you right here, is... Let's see, when I was doing the Mass Worlds at the very end here, because after a while I couldn't be bothered finishing uh, with solos, so I felt like just doing Mass Worlds, I was averaging about 50, a little over 50k an hour. So with doing solos, the XP rates were a little lower than that. I'd say somewhere around 40, high 40s, like 47, 48k an hour. So that was a solid 20 hour grind going from level 74 to about level 81 of just doing pretty much solo temporals. We ended with 1,200 reward points. Uh, biggest things we're going for right here are, of course, the pet, which is a 1 in 8,000, so I'm not really expecting to get it, and I'm not going to be upset if I don't. Same thing with the Dragon Harpoon. I'll be honest, I'm not doing this grind again without uh, an Infernal Harpoon. Uh, what I want to do with the rewards is the Spirit Flakes. Obviously, I'm going to be using, uh, what is it, 4,800 of these on the Angler's outfit to make sure I can get the Spirit Anglers for the collection log and everything. And for when I go back and do Temporos again, we're also going to be keeping 3,000 Spirit Flakes for the Heron pet so I can recolor it to the blue one because, let's be honest, the blue one's a lot better than the original. 
So in total, we need 7,800 of these just for what I want to do with the anglers, uh, for the spirit angler outfit and for the heron pet. Other than that, any extras I'm going to be saving for angler fish. So when we get to things like court beast, and like I said, with the court beast and the 200 raw of each for the uh, elite Remnick diary, this is stuff way longer down the road, but I'm kind of already prepping for it, so I don't have to worry about it later on. Um, eventually, whatever we don't get, we will come back here and we will do what we can to max out the collection log. But that's pretty much it. Other than that, if I get anything huge, you'll obviously see clips of that. But for right now, the loot's looking pretty... Okay, we got five caskets, so that's fine. But we'll see you back with a drop. And there it is, the Tome of Water. Not even, let's see, not even 200 points in. And we already pulled the Tome of Water, which that is a 1 in 1600, so well under drop right there. And I, I don't know where this is going to be very useful, but that is a huge thing to go ahead and knock out. Yes, let's go the fish barrel. So that is one of the big reasons I did this grind in the first place because I want to catch karambons and this is going to help out a lot with things like karambons and I believe it's useful for angler fish too. That's a big drop right there. Um, but that is a huge drop and that is also a collection log item off the list. I am so happy I got that. The tackle box is whatever, but that is absolutely great. And then, actually, I believe that 25 soaked pages, now that I looked at the wiki, that was an immediate duplicate fish barrel, now that I look at it. So I got those within about three points of each other, I believe. So I got a duplicate instantaneously, pretty much. That's pretty cool. Dang it. That freaked me. <laughs> it freaked me out. I just got a second tome of water. Son of a... Oh, dude. Uh, that's so useless. That's so useless. Can I sell it or something? Uh, can't believe I just got a second one. All right, all right, all right. Where is... Where's the guy for the spirit angle? Tired. Greta, Greta, Greta. Is that the guy? Where is he? Where's the dude? This guy. This guy right here. Hello, sir. Yes. Uh, let's talk about outfits. I see a lot of anglers. So ugly green stuff. Uh, feels bad for anyone whose favorite color is green. Give me. Uh, do, 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 uh, 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 spirit angler. Hello. Uh, proceed. Yeah, proceed. Proceed. There we go. Four collection log slots. Easy, easy. And looky there. 700, about 692 left, and we get another tome of water. So that's 2.8 mil going to my level 5 main account. Looks like another duplicate fish barrel right there for 25 more soaked pages. 600 left. Let's go. Oh my god, yes, we got the dragon harpoon. One out of 8k, that is a spoon drop right there. I heard it and I looked up and I saw the dragon harpoon right here. That is awesome. Now, a lot of people would probably be mad getting the dragon harpoon. I know if you were on a main account, uh, and that's another, that is a third duplicated fish barrel, uh, instead of one tackle box. 
But anyways, we're talking about the Dragon Harpoon right now. So on an Iron Man, that is actually huge because the only other way to get one of those, I believe, is from Worms. And followed by the Tackle Box. Now everything's just coming in. Followed by a duplicate of one of these. I don't even know. What is happening? What is this right here? I get nothing for like, I get nothing but soak pages for like, I don't know, like, let's see, 400 almost. And then just all of a sudden this quad feed right here, that is awesome. So the tackle box is done. The fish barrel is done. We got three tomes, two duplicates. Um, I would really like to get the big harpoon fish. I mean, let's be real. There's another duplicate. What is happening right now? Where was this the other like 500 points between this? So yeah, literally the only two other things that you can get this from is a regular worm, which is a one out of 10,000 or a shadow worm, it's superior variant, which is a one out of 2000. So let's put that into perspective. I'm really glad to get it here right now because that means if I don't get the pet and I have to come back and do this later, that's gonna be with an infernal harpoon, post Cerberus grind, or along those lines, I'm gonna have a smoldering stone, I'm gonna have an infernal harpoon, and it's gonna be so much easier to get points, and in this minigame is gonna be so much easier to grind out after this. So that is a huge drop. And that is it, we are completely done. Did not get the pet, did not get the big harpoon fish, but overall, this is perfectly fine with me. I'm gonna end up doing some calculations. I'm gonna ta I'm gonna calculate everything. So I'm gonna calculate pretty much what the total spoils were from the 1200. I'm gonna obviously we can quickly see how many spirit flakes, uh, how many extra angler fish those spirit flakes might get me in the future. And then we're gonna be opening all these caskets, and then we're gonna be calculating our total spoils so far. But without even doing that, 11 mil. And obviously, when you think about it, we got pretty lucky on that 11 mil. If I was being honest, we take these three things out of here. That's probably what your spoils on average should look like. So it's still 7.1 mil, but statistically, those should not be in there. So we got spooned. All right.